Jeremy Sockman here with another look at a movie from the good old days when they were still the great new days. Today I'm checking out Firecracker from 1981, and this one might seem like a babylicious baddie beatdown on the surface, but there's a dark secret lurking behind this one's car chases and mustached faces. So let's take a look. Jillian Kesner plays Suzanne Carter, dropping into town to figure out what happened to her sister. Seems she got mixed up with an underground fight boss and his drug dealing pals. Suzanne figures her way in it to show off her moves and it works. But she's stopped by the cops and given a straight banana. There's some drug cartel shenanigans here and she's caught up in an undercover operation that's about to blow the whole thing. I want you to lay off Chuck Donner. What's the matter? You jealous? Go home. This is no place for you. Bonnie found out. The hard way. Where is she? We don't know yet. Look, if you interfere... We'll never be able to solve this case. Okay. I'll stay out of your way. So she plays it cool, training with the locals, tailing the baddies, and falling for Chuck's sweet dude. But uh-oh, Chuck's the dude that killed her sister. And when the cops bust a big drug deal when it goes down at the arena, spoiler alert, she takes on Chuck and shows him where to stick it. Now badass babes kicking the crap out of Lutches is nothing new, but usually we get someone who's got some real moves, like a Cynthia Rothrock, Michelle Yeoh, or Pamela Anderson. But every now and again, someone grossly unqualified for a job manages to play the game and take work from someone who deserves it. Jillian Kesner is clearly no karate queen. She can barely keep her hands straight, needs a Filipino dude in a wig to double her in the gymnastics scenes, and looks so lost in the choreography you can practically hear the director, Sirio Santiago, shouting out the moves for her. So how did she get this job? It's obvious. She rode the casting couch right to the top, promising the big shots in charge a little personal attention if she got the role. I can think of two reasons why they gave it to her, too. Okay, maybe three. I'm just trying to pay the rent. So in the end, while Firecracker might have been a chance for a truly qualified lady to show off her skills to pay the bills, it ended up showing the downside of the whole equal representation game. Someone using what she's got to get ahead. That's why I'm Jeremy Sockman, and I'm giving the play for pay nightmare that is Firecracker a hard pass. That's nothing compared to what I might have planned for you. I'm listening. First, we have a lot of getting to know you to do. Good. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. But I mean right now, and it's got to be on my terms. Whatever you say. 